The woodlands and waterways around Portumna Forest Park will be part of the Galway to Athlone National Cycleway Project. The 205-kilometre route runs from Athlone Castle along the banks of the Shannon into Portumna and Gort in southeast Galway and on to Kinvara along the Wild Atlantic Way before winding up in Galway City. Nearby, the owner of the glamping village in Portumna has a fleet of bikes at the ready for the predicted increase in visitor numbers. There's something for everybody, for the kiddies, for the families and for the individual. Um, I think once the Greenway comes in, it's going to be a massive game changer for this whole region. Amendments have been made to the route in a number of cases to avoid cutting through land, but these farmers say they have had little or no consultation. They're supposed to have a fence each side and all the rest of it, and you might have two or three gates to open or whatever. And then there is the added danger that if this thing goes through, you have no control over the people who travel on it. It only favours enthusiastic cyclists, you know, um, and it's a tourist product. And that's our, our big concern, that it's not um, favouring the community. People said something about being an angry farmer. I'm, I make no apologies for being angry about the way we've been treated. There's been no real engagement, right? They wouldn't meet us as a group. Our politicians have let us down. They've gone the other way. There have been significant concerns expressed by a number of landowners all along the route from Athlone to Galway. They are key stakeholders in this project. They have to be part, ultimately, of the final design process. Throughout next week, there will be public information events in Oran Moore, Gort, Portumna and Ballinasloe. Landowners, farmers, cyclists, anybody with an interest in this greenway is urged to attend. Theresa Mannion, RTE News, Portumna, County Galway.